Every spring after seasonal depression from the winter has turned me into a total shell of a person, I start to get back into fashion. Now that it's officially spring, I wanna put more effort into my appearance because I feel like when it's 45 to 65 degrees, it's the only time when I can like layer like frilly things and not wanna die because it's either too hot or too cold. All of that to say, today I'm recreating cottagecore and coquette outfits from Pinterest using clothing that I already own. Looking at Pinterest was honestly kind of humbling because I just kept looking at pictures wondering, do I even own anything? Because none of this resembles anything that I own. That being said, I think I'm being like a little bit of a drama queen because because I did end up finding pictures that resembled some of my wardrobe and I actually felt really inspired to pair pieces together that I never even thought to pair together before. So ultimately being humbled was kind of worth it. I'll show you proof by showing you four incredibly cute, if I do say so myself, outfits inspired from Pinterest. Hey, editing Lucia here. I'm here to tell you that the first outfit has kind of related. But after that, it's cute. The inspo pick for outfit number one is sort of like, what if your grandma cultivated a lifetime of wisdom that culminated in her learning that you can be a girl who can do both by being both cute and comfy. I don't have the Taylor Swift red album cover hat pictured in the bottom left corner of the inspo pick, nor do I really own any hats because they kind of make me not recognize myself in the mirror. But um, aside from that, I do think that this outfit is fairly similar to the inspo pick down to the fact that I did end up uh, staging this outfit with a mug and a tea bag. So stay tuned for that mug feature in a moment. I paired this outfit with the floral bag similar to the inspo pick. And also, by the way, I normally don't pair my chunky shoes with things that are super feminine, but it like makes sense to do because it's like a nice juxtaposition. So yeah, I liked that about this inspo pick. Anyway, I think it's super cute and I definitely think I'm going to wear this outfit. That being said, I don't think that the SLU tea mug is going to come out with me. The inspo pick for the second outfit is very like blow cat sporty Brandy Melville to me. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I modified the shit out of this outfit because I only loosely took inspiration from it because I don't own any pleated skirts that are that short, nor do I really own any plain sneakers to be honest. Basically, I just don't own this outfit, but I did my best. I thought that this graphic t-shirt that says I was never your girlfriend was a, like kind of an embodiment of the coquette but minimal vibe of the t-shirt in the inspo pick. Well, I do think that this outfit is delightful and cute. It kind of doesn't feel super me, only because it's like basically monochromatic. I feel like realistically, if I was gonna wear this outfit out. I would probably pair it with like a bunch of colorful accessories because I need everyone to know that I'm silly. For the jewelry and accessories in this outfit, I tried to keep all of it silver toned just because I sort of sensed that that was like the vibe of the inspo pick. This picture is very like younger Gen Z um, and I feel like not to say words that don't mean anything at all, but um, I feel like younger Gen Z is very into wearing silver jewelry and I also feel like I need to fucking log off. Oh my God. No, in all seriousness, so I think that I'm right. Younger Gen Z does like wearing silver toned jewelry and I think that it's like a known fact. Also, I feel like a cultural anthropologist and I think that this outfit turned out really cute considering what I was working with. The finishing touch for this outfit was the silver toned locket that says your dream girl on it. I feel like pairing this locket with this t-shirt that says I was never your girlfriend is sort of aggressive, but hey, I have socks that say boys lie on them and at least I didn't wear those with this. The vibe of the third inspo pick is very much like the French girl aesthetic, if you will, which to be clear, I'm very okay with. Haters might say that it's basic, but um, I'm okay with that. I didn't have any long sleeve t-shirts or t-shirts at all for that matter that were plain, like the one in the inspo pick. So I ended up using this one with a bunny on it because it was the scoopiest of scoop necks that I own. Um, and I paired it with this flowy skirt that I will admit I reluctantly purchased a few years ago for a little bit too much at the Reformation store in the Lower East Side that sells vintage, but hey, I love it. So I couldn't see the footwear of this picture, so I just used my imagination a little bit and paired it with these brown Mary Janes. Similarly, I added these white bows with these red roses on them because fuck it, I could. And I couldn't see if the person in the inspo pic was wearing any hair accessories, so I took the liberty of adding bows to this outfit. I, like many people right now, am a proponent of bows on everything. I am a coquette girl through and through. Also, okay, I really love this skirt. I think it's absolutely beautiful and so flowy. At the same time, because of the cut of it and I guess because of the fabric, the top of it gets so bunchy if you try to tuck anything into it and even if you don't tuck anything into it it sort of like bunches up on itself and honestly i just found myself fidgeting with it a lot because it looked so lumpy and weird anyway as for two final finishing touches for this outfit which by the way i do like lumps aside um but i added this pendant necklace to sort of mirror the pendant necklace in the inspo pick and then also i could kind of see that the person in the inspo pick had a big ass bag so i got a big ass bag too that i added bows to Anyway, for the last inspo pick, I chose this very cozy and sort of casual coquette outfit. If there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that I don't own a denim skirt for some reason, um, nor do I own very many mini skirts at all, but luckily I do own a light blue skirt that sort of resembles a denim skirt, although I think it's cuter. Because the inspo pick didn't have shoes in it, I just took the creative liberty of wearing these upcycled shoes that I DIY'd that are very coquette and casual also, similar to the inspo pick. By the way, and not to be a total bitch, um, but I do need to say that you should, if you want to learn how to make these shoes watch my upcycle tutorial that I did a few weeks ago okay 
And now for accessories. As for the previous three outfits, and just like every outfit that I've worn in the past year or so, I added these two bows to my hair because bows are always cute. I also very performatively wore this cross necklace because it is very cute and pearly. And then finally, I paired this outfit with a little teddy bear like pouch. Um, sort of a clutch moment. And that is the fourth outfit and final Pinterest inspired outfit of this video. I'm honestly so fucking happy with how they turned out. I think that they're all so cute. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what outfit was your favorite if you liked any of them. If you didn't like any of them, I guess you can also tell me which was your least favorite. Hope that this was fun uh, for you to watch. And please like and subscribe. Oh, okay, thanks, bye.